Do you know the difference between structural isomers and geometric isomers? This video is about cis-trans system for naming geometric isomers. Look at the following structures. Both are named 1,2-difluoroethane. And as we learned in my previous videos, that if two structures have the same name, then they are not structural isomers. But what about the spatial arrangement? Do they have any differences regarding the location of the fluoro substituents? In fact, there is no difference regarding the location of fluoro substituents. Since the carbon atoms are joined by a single covalent bond, where the rotation is not restricted, so we can simply twist the bond between the carbon atoms and the two structures will look exactly the same. Now, let's have a look on these structures. Also here, the two structures have the same name, which is 1,2-difluoroethene. But, in these structures, the two carbon atoms are joined by a double covalent bond, where the rotation is restricted and we cannot twist the bond between the carbon atoms thus the two molecules have different spatial arrangements where the floor substituents are on the same side of one structure while they are on opposite sides on the other structure and to differentiate between them we have to use the prefixes cis and trans when the similar groups are on the same side of the molecule we call it cis when they are on opposite sides of the molecule, we call it trans. So the structures on the left, it's called cis-1,2-difluoroethene. And the structure on the right, it's called trans-1,2-difluoroethene. Here is another example. Look at these structures. Since the hydrogens are the same side of the double bond on the right molecule, it's called cis 1 chloro 2 fluoroethene and the structure on the left where the hydrogens are on opposite sides of the double bond it's called trans 1 chloro 2 fluoroethene one thing to mention is that the cis and trans isomers have different physical properties for example the boiling point for cis 1 2 dichloroethene is 60 degrees celsius while the boiling point for trans 1,2 dichloroethene is 48 degrees Celsius. And this is because the geometry of the molecule affects its polarity. Like here, the cis 1,2 dichloroethene is polar, while the trans 1,2 dichloroethene is nonpolar. And as I explained in one of my previous videos, that polar molecules usually have stronger intermolecular forces. As you have noticed that, the cis-trans system for naming geometric isomers was easy to apply. But do you think that we can use it to differentiate between these structures? Which one do you think is the cis and which one do you think is the trans? In fact, to differentiate between these structures, we need to use the EZ system for naming geometric isomers, which will be covered in my next video, so stay tuned. And now we are ready to solve the end of video questions. If not, repeat the video again. If you find my videos are useful, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified and watch the new videos. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and write me a comment. Thank you.